by one of BOAC's VC-10s, Pathé cameraman Cedric Baines was flown to Rhodesia. In that country, he is at the seat of events, coordinating the work of assistance already on the spot. Pathé News is doing everything possible to secure the news in pictures as quickly as BOAC can fly the film to London. But first, a glimpse of happenings in Nairobi, capital of Kenya. The students demonstrated against Rhodesia with plentiful advice to Britain. Outside the office of the British High Commission, more than 500 called for stronger action than the sanctions already imposed. Unimportant in itself. The demonstration nevertheless shows that African feeling is running high. Arrived in Salisbury, Baines discovered no outward signs of excitement. It was too early for the effects of sanctions to be felt. Whites who oppose UDI could not do anything about it at this stage. African feeling here was not yet vocal. Whether these outward signs of peace were real or deceptive, no European reporters freshly on the scene could tell. The Salisbury is not accustomed to being in the spotlight of world interest. Attending early service at the Cathedral on Remembrance Day was the representative of the Queen, the Governor, Sir Humphrey Gibbs. He has no intention of surrendering his authority or leaving Salisbury. He is the main symbol of lawful government now that Ian Smith's administration has been declared illegal. To Government House, which he declined to quit, the imperturbable Sir Humphrey returned. Later reports were that his telephones had been disconnected. There was the customary Remembrance Day tribute at the War Memorial, though neither the Governor nor Ian Smith was present. Mr. Lardner Burke represented the now outlawed government of which he was Minister of Justice and Law and Order. Attending the ceremony were some who fought in both world wars. Mr. Lardner Burke spoke to several of the veterans when the ceremony was over. To those who fought, it was unimaginable that there would ever be a rift between Rhodesia and the mother country. May it be quickly healed. Thank you.